She was identified via fingerprints, um, but her, I mean, I'm the person who found Maricela. Um, and so- You found her? I found her. Wow. Um, she was identified, her body was in bad, was in a, was in a bad state of um, decomp. Um, they were able to get fingerprints to match to, her family had filed a missing persons report, um, but her body was so decomposed that they had to um, remove her hands and then, and then put them in saline solution so they could rehydrate them then to take the, to take the, the fingerprints. Oh my gosh. Here's one story about Maricela and about her family and about all the people that have been um, deeply impacted by her death. That's just one Of person. the tags. Yeah. Of the, one the, human, you know, one human. So you amplify that story 3,000 times, um, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of sorrow, um, especially for the orange tags. I mean, there's, there's over a thousand people in Arizona that um, have disappeared, basically. The families will, will never probably find out what happened to them. And, um, you know, that's this horrible um, aspect to it. The desert is used as a, as a way to deter migrants and it kills them and then it destroys their bodies. The goal of this project, I mean, it is, it's participatory. So these tags on this wall were filled out by about 500 volunteers at the University of Pennsylvania um, several months ago. And so with every exhibition that we're doing in 150 locations on five continents next year, we send them the kits with the basics and the information and then they have to mobilize their communities to fill out the tow tags. And so for us, the most important aspect of the, of, the, of the whole thing is the filling out of the tags and that kind of moment of solidarity with, with migrants and then, and then mounting it on the wall. Um, so that, that's for us, is a, you know, so it's not just coming and looking at the tow tags, yes. but, it's, but it's what does it mean to write down someone's name and, and the date they were found and the condition they were found in. Is that a way to raise our awareness and, and yes. to connect us more to that issue?